ever wondered how a seemingly perfect relationship can turn into a nightmare? Welcome to the world of narcissistic abuse. Narcissistic abuse is a form of emotional and psychological harm inflicted by individuals who display narcissistic tendencies. It's a complex, damaging dance that typically follows a pattern of idealization, devaluation, and discard. In the beginning, the narcissist showers their partner with love, admiration and compliments in the idealization phase. Everything seems perfect, almost too good to be true. But as the relationship progresses, the mask starts to slip. The honeymoon phase fades, transitioning into a colder and more damaging stage known as devaluation. This is where the real trouble begins, where the narcissist's true colors begin to show. The once charming and affectionate partner morphs into a critical, indifferent and manipulative person, leaving the victim feeling emotionally battered and confused. Stay tuned as we delve into the signs of devaluation, which is often a turning point where the narcissist's true colors begin to show. Now, let's unveil the signs of devaluation. It's when the honeymoon phase fades and a colder, more damaging stage takes its place. The first sign is increased criticism. The charming and complimentary narcissist you once knew starts to find fault in everything you do. They become hypercritical, constantly finding ways to belittle you, subtly chipping away at your self-esteem. Next, we have emotional withdrawal. The warmth and affection once showered upon you vanish. You may find the narcissist becoming emotionally aloof, distant, and disinterested in your life and feelings. It's like living with a stranger where the emotional connection was replaced with an icy indifference. Then there's manipulation and control. The narcissist's manipulative tactics escalate during this phase. They may attempt to control your every move, using guilt tripping, gaslighting, and other tactics to maintain their dominance. Another sign is the shifting of blame. The narcissist refuses to take responsibility for their actions instead blaming you for any problems in the relationship. They project their own negative traits onto you, making you feel like you're the one causing all the problems. Public humiliation is also a common sign. The narcissist may deliberately embarrass or humiliate you in public or in front of your loved ones. This is a way for them to further erode your self-esteem and exert control over you. Finally, we have triangulation. The narcissist may introduce a third person into the relationship, creating a dynamic of competition and jealousy. This is a way for them to distract you from their own behavior and manipulate you into seeking their approval and affection. These signs might not be apparent all at once, but they gradually seep into the relationship, making it toxic and emotionally draining. And while these signs are painful to endure, recognizing them is crucial for your mental and emotional well-being. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards understanding and dealing with narcissistic abuse. The devaluation phase can have a severe impact on the victim's mental and emotional well-being. The constant barrage of criticism and emotional neglect may lead to a deep erosion of the victim's self-esteem and confidence. The victim may start doubting their worth and abilities, which can be debilitating in their personal and professional life. The relentless emotional turmoil and uncertainty can also trigger feelings of anxiety and depression. The victim may experience constant worry, sleep disturbances, and a persistent feeling of sadness or hopelessness. This can significantly impact their daily functioning and overall quality of life. In severe cases, the emotional trauma inflicted during the devaluation phase may lead to post-traumatic stress disorder. The victim can be haunted by flashbacks and nightmares and may live in a state of hypervigilance anticipating the next attack. Lastly, the victim may find themselves isolated from their friends and family, as the narcissist tries to limit their support system and further exert control. Understanding these impacts can help victims recognize the severity of their situation and seek help. So, what can one do if they're experiencing the devaluation phase of narcissistic abuse? There are ways to break free. Firstly, Arm yourself with knowledge. Understand the nature of narcissistic abuse, its patterns, and its impact. Recognizing the dynamics at play can empower you to make informed decisions about your situation. Secondly, establish clear boundaries. 
communicate what behavior you will not tolerate and stand firm when these boundaries are tested. Thirdly, build a robust support network. Surround yourself with people who understand your situation and can offer encouragement. Consider seeking professional help from a therapist who specializes in narcissistic abuse. Next, prioritize your well-being. Engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Your emotional and physical health should be your top priority. Finally, develop an exit plan. If it's safe and feasible, consider leaving the relationship. It's a tough decision, but often necessary for your mental and emotional health. Remember, help is available, and recovery is possible. It's time to prioritize your well-being and take steps towards a healthier future.